You know, uh, behind every uh, songwriter, I should give it up to their writing skill. Chiki, please. Yeah, please. Hello, hi. Hello, crazy. Eid Mubarak, happy Eid Mubarak. Thank you so much, happy, happy Eid Mubarak. Mubarak. To you and to you. <laughs> you too. You know what? I'm so captivated by your voice. It's very soft and it gives me goosebumps, honestly. Thank you so much, Crazy. Actually, I'm one of your fans. <laughs> <laughs> In Instagram, I really like. You know what? We've been cooking. following each cooking, other right? for for a long time, but this is the first time we met. No. Yes. So this is actually the power of social media. Yeah. You can get connected with everyone yeah. that you want to, but you know, look at them. They only yeah. met once, and it's only here. Yes. Yeah, Let's talk course. about her song. <laughs> okay. What was that song? What was the about? title of the it's, song? Uh, the title it's uh, Belukar Dunia. Belukar Dunia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I made this song when I was um, traveling. Um, all across Indonesia with yep. my friends from um, like um, Gerakan Kemanusiaan, Gerakan Oh, from Kemanusiaan. the activity, from from um, the community. Volunteering uh, things. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah And then uh, when I uh, was in uh, one village, um, there are no no electricity. Mm -hmm. No. Where was it? In uh, Nunukan. Nunukan, you know, uh, East Kalimantan. Yeah, in East Kalimantan. And then um, I uh, I grabbed. Uh, Al Quran, and then I, I read about uh, Surat uh, Yusuf mm -hmm. and the story. For me, it's very inspiring. 
it's very like um what um runut <laughs> like it's um it, it's very systematic yeah systematic it's not scattered and then you can see like a person mm -hmm. uh, uh from a small he always get like um many challenges mm -hmm. like a sibling rivalry and then yeah, sibling rivalry. Uh, many many things and then finally he became one uh, of the respectable person mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then what I learned from that Surat Yusuf is the key how to um, um, like um, doing your life well is to protect your heart to always be a good person like him. That's deep. And you know what I noticed from the lyric, you said something like the the best or the perfect tale or story is not the ones that is full of unicorns and rainbows, but no. one that is filled with hardship yeah. and how you overcome them, right? Yeah. And then w when I was in uh, Nunukan and many other village, mm -hmm. I met a lot of a very kind hearted person. Mm -hmm. Like they choose to like a uh, kind of sacrifice uh, themselves for the com community, like uh, in um, in other village, they have no electricity, but that one person like uh, sacrifice himself to go to other village to pull the big uh, something like to to make uh, that village during um, uh, uh, Salat Eid Ramadan have mm -hmm. the electricity. The uh, Eid prayer, yeah. so they have electricity yeah. during the prayer and stuff like, like uh, that. I, I often met a very kind, that hearted yeah. person when I was traveling with my friend that also traveling for a cause. And that inspires yeah. you, obviously. But to write this song, what, Belukar Dunia. What comes first? Uh, is it the melody first or, or the, the lyrics first? Lyric first? Because, because okay, okay. Yeah, I, I've always wondered about the uh, uh, singer and songwriter, whether they, they uh, write the lyrics first or they find the tune first. Right, because and how musicians really? have yeah. different methods. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah of course, dif different methods. Actually, I, I also have different methods for um, like uh, one song, I use this method, and then for the other song, I use another method. Yeah. But for this Blue Cardunia, um, I got the, the 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 big idea first. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I, I want to write a story about um, how to overcome with your life is to be a good person, no mm -hmm. matter um, how life treats you. You mm -hmm. should uh, uh, treat others well. Mm -hmm. Then you um, love I got well. yeah, I got the big idea, and then. Um, the melody, I already have it in my um, voice, uh, voice, notes. Yeah, voice notes and then I just combine it. But, but maybe the melody first and mm -hmm. then the big idea and then I combine it and then that cool. become a melody. Now this is actually, this runs in the family because <laughs> you're, we know that your dad um, is um, a legendary singer. Mm -hmm. Actually, I learned to sing from your friends. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> <laughs> from, yeah, from yeah. my housemaid. Yeah. Actually, Chiki came over to my house quite some times and, and to a few times. To learn how to sing, because to learn I'm how a to singer. Sing. But actually, um, we, we, can't, we can't really deny that um, your upbringing um, around music and your dad was actually a legendary singer. And around eight months ago, you made um, a oh, yeah, song yeah. with your dad. Yeah, it's called Bandara. Bandara. Okay, so um, for for those of you who might not know, um, back in the in the eighties or are probably um, early nineties, um, Ikang Fauzi, Chiki's uh, father, uh, was a harsh uh, side the genre rock and roll. Rock, yeah. Rock and roll uh, musician. <laughs> but now your genre is quite different. How was it um, in the in the process of mm -hmm. the duet uh, being made? Yeah. Yeah, actually, I just um, explore what's uh, in between mm -hmm. um, my comfort zone and then my, my dad's comfort mm -hmm. zone, and then I just try to combine it. Mm -hmm. So my dad uh, take the uh, the more challenging thing mm -hmm. uh, for the technique to sing for the song, vocal, yeah, you mean? for the vocal, and then me and my band just explore how to make it works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ah. so just yeah, you can here uh, from that song Bandara. Yeah. So oh, you you can actually find it uh, on, on um, other platforms, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Other platforms. You can uh, on Apple Music and mm -hmm. also on Spotify. Yeah. So um, on that note, uh, we also want to um, explore more about how is it uh, the music in your family? Is it okay. like do you breathe music? Yeah, you and I Bella? I always yeah. want to know about that. How was yeah. it like growing up in um, Ikang Fauzi. Uh, and musician. Yeah, musician yeah, yeah. I 
actually uh, my, my dad is the one who brings music to our family mm -hmm. my dad really loved to sing really love mm -hmm. when uh, he was uh, waking us up mm -hmm. uh, during uh, sahur yep. he always sing like uh, <laughs> wake up wake up <laughs> Ade, oh, lovely. lovely. Sometimes with the guitar, my my dad is very like a happy go lucky kind of uh -huh, person. Uh -huh. Always yeah. smiles, always sings, and it's just like somehow like uh, came came to me like a very good um, influence. Also, <laughs> did, did he encourage you to learn uh, musical instruments or to sing yeah. when you were yeah, little? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he often take me and my sister to the stage when oh. he was doing check sound and then let us try like uh, the mic and playing the drum. Actually, my dad uh, used to be a drummer first oh, and, then, okay. uh, and then singer, but drummer first and then, yeah. So drummer first and then singer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, let me and my sister uh, to try all the musical instrument and then it just um, really came up to me like an inspiration to be a musician someday, no matter um, like um, uh, many things I, I do for mm -hmm. a living, but I always come to music. That's why you can see it when she performs. It's like it's in her blood, you know, <laughs> she did it effortlessly. But actually, I'm not a really good musician. I'm, what I'm, are you talking yeah, about? I'm not, I'm not a singer. I'm not a good, good musician, but I love to write music. Especially uh, when I was traveling, I don't know why you traveling is very inspiring for me. Like I, I have this uh, my other job ho hosting um, a program. Yeah, traveling yeah. show. Traveling. I know that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, and, I got very inspired by, you know by that program. And you know she owns a fashion brand too. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah as well. I want to send you some. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to. Thank you. I already. Uh, yeah, I have one. Multi-talented woman yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I really love to draw, actually. I, I, I used to be a mural artist until now, actually. And then you got all the inspirations from traveling as well. Yeah, almost. Like, almost. Like, even this this pattern, I made this. Uh, it's, uh, I got inspired by also a surat in Al-Quran called mm -hmm. Al-Inshirah. Like, yep. uh, it is stated in the surat. Um, Setelah kesulitan ada kemudahan. So after uh, hardship, black, white, black, black, white, black, white. So after hardship, you will find yeah. some easy in your life. Yeah, and and I got this uh, message is very general. Um, even though you're not Muslim, you can still get the, exactly. the good message from this pattern. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, by the way, you know what? Thank you so much for um, your time today, for being with us today. <laughs> this is the second day of Eid. Yeah, and true, she, true. Ma she managed to <laughs> come, come here. here. To see today. Yeah, how did you spend the first day and the second day of Eid this year? Yeah, yeah I eat a lot. <laughs> of course. Not we all. Did not we all. Uh, I got lebaran. Lebaran. <laughs> wider. Wider. Yeah, wider. So how, how many houses uh, did you go to? Have you visited? Yeah, um, Only one actually, but mm. it's uh, quite far. It's in Jongol. It's my aunt's uh, house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then... Um, we got no energy again. <laughs> and then my family visiting my other family today, but I'm not joining them. <laughs> I see. And, and do you have any special tradition within your family? Yeah. Well, we used to have Related to music, maybe? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we used to have this special tradition, like my aunt that um, is, uh, just passed away. Uh, she really loved to cook this. <laughs> this very delicious food called bistik lidah. And, oh. bistik lidah. and now we, we just, it's it feels really different without her around. No one makes it anymore. Yeah, no one makes it, no one makes it oh. oh, by the way, bistik lidah but, is, yeah, is, is like tongue stew. Yeah. Like ox tongue stew. Yeah, tongue stew. Oh. All right, so um, we will talk more about food and also <laughs> tradition and also uh, Chiki Fauzi's career. So uh, the stories will continue out of the break. Don't go anywhere.